Hello everyone, my name is James. I'm here to do another video review on the new Q500 Typhoon by Unique. Um, this product is going to be a direct competitor with the uh, Phantom Vision Plus. Um, at the price point of $12.99, it's gonna be right at that ballpark. And once we get through the review today, showing you everything that you get for that price point, you're gonna, you're gonna see the value uh, in this product versus possibly buying a DJI or, or uh, something similar. Uh, but let's, let's talk a little bit about this quadcopter for a quick, quick brief second. Um, this, this copter comes ready to fly. It's at a 500 uh, millimeter diameter copter, so it's a 500 size copter. Um, you can get up to, a, up to 25 minute flight time, which is, which is taking claim to the Phantom. Uh, in the aspect of what it claims it can fly. In our experiences that we've done reviews and stuff on in the past, that we, we average around 19 minutes. Uh, our flight test today, we did get the opportunity to, to go out and fly one of these and, and kind of see firsthand how, how it, it reacts. Um, it was very impressive for, for what it is. So uh, also it uh, comes with a 1080p, 480, 60 uh, frames per second camera. Uh, it's mounted on a three-axis gimbal that allows you to um, uh, tilt. Um, so the the, the three-axis is that it keeps the keeps the yaw out of the picture. If you're not familiar with that, uh, you can feel free to Google or or anything about a three-axis gimbal. But it does have a three-axis gimbal and it does have a 1080p, 48, 50, and 60 frames rate per second um, on this particular guy. Um, but let's go ahead and jump, jump back in, jump into the uh, unboxing real quick and see what we have. Right away, this thing is pretty beefy um, in the aspect of its packaging. So if you have any problems at all coming from the manufacturer, I mean, they, they, they packed this thing very, very, very well. On this particular model, they uh, actually include a second uh, extra battery with, I guess, the first ones they shipped. So this particular model, you'll see me pull out an extra battery out of this. Uh, I don't think they're normally will come that way, but for this entry level, for the entry uh, to the market, I think they included that second battery. So uh, right out of the gate, we're gonna have a basically a quick start guide. Uh, basically this quick, quick, quick start guide basically gives you all the information of the manufacturer, their phone number, their email address, uh, and all the different regions that, they're, that they supply this, which is huge. And normally, normally DJI does not give you um, their tech support, and if they do, it's very vague, and and it's really just it's it's really hard to get any kind of answers out of them. Um, so that's basically right on top. Real quick, we're going to go over the contents of the box because it's right here for us. Uh, obviously, the Q500 ready to uh, the RTF ready to fly aircraft uh, is in here. Obviously, uh, the ST10 transmitter and personal ground station. We're going to carry cover that not too in depth, but we're gonna go over and look at the nice features because this is what's gonna stand uh, this apart from, from anything else out in the product right now, out in the market right now, is the ST10 transmitter and personal ground station. We'll get into that uh, here shortly. Uh, the ST, ST10 LCD sun, sunshade, uh, comes with a sunshade that comes with a neck strap, AC, DC, USB uh, charge adapter, which is for charging the controller. Uh, USB uh, micro USB cable, which is the interface with the controller um, to be able to plug it uh, eventually into different softwares to be able to program that. Uh, 5400 milliamp 3S battery, uh, the 3S charger, uh, a DC uh, automotive, automotive accessory, uh, AC DC adapter power supply that allows you to plug into the house. Does come with an 8 gig memory card. Um, let's see. Uh, motor, a uh, motor holder uh, allows you to basically it comes with a clamp to hold on to the motor so you can tighten the motors or loosen them if they get too tightened uh, on you. And uh, two sets of uh, propellers, uh, which which is great. So you're not, you know, have to worry about extra extra props right out of the gate. So if you accidentally have an accident. Uh, but setting that aside, our next thing that we have is going to be our uh, literature. Uh, basically, the first thing on top is the Q500. Uh, Typhoon quick start guide uh, basically tells you everything you need to know um, about the charging the equipment, uh, the, the buttons you need to push to start it, and, and orientation of programming and calibrating and, and all the good stuff. So that's the, the trifold that you get um, right on top. <clears throat> Next thing uh, is the follow me features, the safe mode, 
feature. That's the next card that's going to be in there. This is huge. This is another thing that, that makes this product stand out from the other products is this actually has built in follow me feature, which other things have that, but this is going to have that, that feature built into the controller. Um, so that's the other card that's in there. And obviously the, the next card is the warnings, uh, things not to do with your Q500. Uh, very important. Um, with these things getting more progressive, I urge everyone to strongly, you know, pay attention to how high you're flying and all that good stuff. Uh, they are, they are cracking down on our hobby. Um, and, and we want to protect everything about it so we can continue enjoying it. Uh, let's see. The next thing is a Q500, uh, how to calibrate compass calibration sheet. Um, and on the back side of that is the, all the air codes, all the different codes that you would have um, on this to kind of tell you what the, what the particular copter is doing. Um, so calibration and then the air codes. So that's with that. We got, uh, like I said, eight, four sets of props. We got eight different props. We got A and B props, uh, counter, counterclockwise and clockwise. We've got a bunch of sets of those. More props. Nice about these props, they are they are counter rotating, meaning they they're soft. They're they're, they're counter rotating, but they have a, a cast and aluminum center, so it allows you to uh, lock auto lock down on the on the hub of the motor, which makes it really really nice. Uh, an aspect of um, uh, not having the prop fly off during the uh, during a flight. Um, also, the super flimsy allows you that increases efficiency. Um, really nice about that. Moving on, got the last prop. Got the neck strap. Neck strap is a metal neck neck strap. Very very durable. Uh, adjustable strap, obviously, be great for um, great for your necks. Once again, it's metal. Very durable there. And it looks like we have the sunshade. That's sunshade. It has two little suction cuppy things that will uh, suction cup onto the screen and allows you to be able to be sun shielded from the sun. And that's a big factor to keep your, uh, keep your visual. Uh, next thing is gonna be the accessory package. Uh, basically all the little nits and bits that you would need uh, for your copter. Um, like I explained before, got the USB cable. It looks like a programming cable or it actually it's a uh, charging balance lead to extend the balance. Uh, so if you ever had to charge it on a different charger, uh, it basically extends it out and uh, allows you to charge the battery through the balance port. Um, tweezers, I have not figured out what these are for, maybe for the memory card or something like that to be able to get them out. But tweezers, a programming cable, a USB interface programming cable. Uh, I guess to program the gimbal or the, um, the, the copter itself. Looks like we actually have another door latch. So on the back of the, batter, back of the battery door, there's a latch that latches uh, the door closed. Uh, looks like they give you another one of these latches. Um, I guess they figured out a, a weak point possibly in the copter itself. So that's nice of them to give you an extra one just to have in case. So with that said, when you're being very, when you're, when you, if you get yours and you decide to get one, just be very careful on the battery door uh, on, the, on the latching mechanism. It looks like it could be, um, could be fragile. One more thing in the bottom of this, it looks like it won't come out. It's just the, uh, the USB, not the USB, but the uh, micro SD card uh, conversion to a standard SD card. So that that's what was all in there. Let's get to the goodies, shall we? All right, so we have the battery charger. Uh, this is, once again, this is the uh, part number SC3500-3. Uh, balanced smart charger for three cell 11.4 lipo batteries. Um, if you guys aren't educated on lipo batteries, do a lot of research. There is a lot of reason, a lot of information out there about lipo batteries. Or if you if you're not familiar with what a lipo battery is, um, but just make sure you do your, do your education and, and homework on that um, when you're ready. But that's the charger. 
we have the home, basically home adapter, AC DC charger, uh, basically wall to power outlet, plugs into the side here. Okay. Then we have the power cord, plugs into this wall. Nice thing about this too, they give you tons of stuff with this. I mean, this is also too, I mean, if you're out and about and you don't have uh, any AC power, they give you an actually, uh, the DC car charger uh, that plugs directly into the into a car. Uh, and now you are now you can be mobile with it, which is, it was super nice to have, an extra little feature. Uh, let's see here. Pull out the batteries here real quick. Like I said, this particular one came with is going to come with two batteries because it's a, I guess it's the entry, uh, the starter pack um, for them just releasing it. Uh, but these are the batteries. Um, these batteries are, it looks they look like they have an EC3 type of connector on the back side of them, uh, but it also has the um, the balance lead and the EC EC3 lead uh, coming out of the one side. But these are 5400 milliamp batteries. Uh, the lithium polymer batteries, the part number is uh, YUNQ50105, um, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice battery. Once again, they're getting to a, a proprietary battery, which is sometimes nice um, that it, you know, it's going to last. So, all right. More little thing. Uh, USB charger. For the controller, uh, take the cable that comes in the accessory pack, plugs that in there, and that plugs that charges the charges the controller up. Um, that allows you, allows you to keep it up and going. Right. I'm going to set this aside for one second just so we can dig into the other stuff. Here is the prop tightener and loosener. It's a little basically uh, vice grip type thing that loosens and tightens the prop. Um, so if it ever over torques itself, if you ever hit something or anything like that, that's gonna help you get loosened. All right, last but not least, the controller. Let me set this on the ground. So the controller on this, before we get to the main copter, just want to kind of go over some of the features of the controller. It's got a, a brilliant, bright LCD screen on it. Touch, touch screen. Um, it, it's, it's fully integratable, fully touched. Uh, it gives you telemetry information, gives you altitude, uh, height, start, stop, record, video quality, uh, signal strength, all the stuff. Um, all the different buttons. We have side buttons here that allow you to, to slow and, and speed the copter. Uh, same thing with here, the gimbal controls on this side. So you're able to the, the, the tilt, tilt the camera with it, which is a little, little switch of, a, of a, a knob there. The knobs on these thing, on this thing is really, really, really smooth. Um, so you can get very accurate, accurate positioning, both on the gimbal side and the speed of the copter. Um, Easy start stop button here. This, this is actually start and stopping the copter. You hold this button down, the copter will initialize and to, to, to stop the copter, you basically do the exact same thing. Hold it down until the copter stops. Um, the gimbals on this particular copter, this would be kind of the same quality as I think maybe a, a DX6, uh, possibly closer to a DX9 quality of the, of the, the smoothness of the sticks. Uh, the um, just the overall feel and quality of it. It's a quality, quality, quality piece of product here. Uh, type of batteries. Um, it looks like it's a LiPo pack. Uh, it's, a, it's a single cell 5200 milliamp battery pack. That battery is going to last a pretty long while for how big that battery pack is. So all in all, this controller is just, just really, really nice and it's really clean to hold in your hands. It's just really good. Um, you have smart, the three position switch here. You have smart, alt, uh, altitude, agility, 
and home. So smart mode is, is basically where it's going to um, basically put a safety barrier around you so you're not able to fly the thing into yourself. Um, also other limitations, which we can get into at a later time, but um, next mode is gonna be a AP mode. Basically it's gonna free it up a little bit. It's gonna be, you can have more control, more uh, flight and different things like that. And obviously home mode. Home mode basically returns the copter back to the location of where you started it. We strongly, or I strongly, or, or everyone strongly recommends never to use that unless in a dire emergency, if you lose orientation of the copter or it's out of sight or you can't see any longer. Um, so yeah, those are your three positions. So your total switch is one, two, you have camera button. This button right here, you push to take a picture. This button over here to start and stop video recording. Pretty straightforward, but once again, this is a nice controller. All right, all right, let's get to the main, main thing here. Quadcopter in itself seems very, very rigid. Very rigid, um, very stout, not a, not a flex at all in the product. Um, There's a three axis gimbal with a Seago 2 camera. Comes with a protective carrying, the protector housing to keep the gimbal from moving during shipment and also transportation. So once you get this, do not lose it because it is recommended that you keep that on there at all times when the copter is not being used in the air. Um, once again, just like the DJI Phantom and all those gimbals, they are very sensitive to, to being damaged uh, just because there are gyros and stuff in there that, that allow that, uh, allow, allow everything to be uh, all really sensitive. So just be really careful with the with the gimbal. All right, moving on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the battery. The battery is once again proprietary battery. It's got a little handle on it. Slides in there. Push of a finger. Battery door shut. We're going to slide off the protective housing. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. As you see, it's got a bunch of different indicator lights on the bottom of it, which is awesome, super bright, allows you to tell orientation, also gives you different readings during flight, tells you what's going on in case you're really not paying attention to the on-screen display. Uh, so if you have your visual on it, uh, that, that's kind of a really, really good feature. So once again, it's a three axis gimbal. If you notice how the gimbal is moving, it literally holds its position regardless of the, of the orientation of the copter. So the third axis, once again, it's to help you with yaw. Um, it keeps the camera in a very fixed position and versus the, the pitch two and the roll. So there's your, those are three different angles on the gimbal. Just want to do a quick unboxing of this for you guys, let you guys see what's going on. Um, my personal opinion after seeing it flying, um, it, it is just an awesome, awesome copter. There's it, it, for what the money you're, for what you're spending money wise to getting it around the 1200, 1299 mark. Uh, it, 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 I personally think it far succeeds the DJI product um, with, it, with A, support, B, uh, quality, and, and just, just overall encompassing of what you're getting um, for guys that don't have smartphones, uh, iPhones, Androids, that this is a really all-in-one, true all-in-one package that you don't really don't need anything else to be able to do, uh, to be able to do aerial photography. Um, it's really going to open the door up for a lot of people that 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 really don't have the, the resources to be able to get everything. But once again, it's all built into the controller. And this is what's going to set everything aside from anything is the built-in display here with the touchscreen in integration. So you don't need any other adapters, features, or anything. It's, it's all built into this. Um, so even the new Inspire doesn't even have that feature. So this, once again, it's a superior product. 
if you're teeter tottering on, on one or the other, I would strongly suggest this product uh, just because it's it's all around counts of just all around a great product. Once again, my name's James. I appreciate you sticking around and watching this video review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and uh, we've got more videos that come coming soon. Uh, we got a, we got other uh, quadcopters coming in, uh, different airplanes, and also. Um, some just neat things coming by. I want to thank you to our sponsors, HobbyOhio.com. Once again, that's HobbyOhio.com uh, for supplying us our, our stuff to being able to review and, 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 and being able to demonstrate it for you tonight. But uh, support your local hobby shop. And once again, uh, thank you again to our sponsors, HobbyOhio.com. And we'll, we'll see you guys soon.